Wow, I just finished watching episode 2 of Rose Zero season 3 and yup, it starts off fucking diabolical. And my boy Subaru right here, well, he is heading to you nowhere. Absolute death. Gruesome death. Screaming. So the thing about this scenario this time is that it is absolutely rapid. The moment Subaru revives, he doesn't have enough time to react to what's about to happen. In a couple of minutes, chaos will be unleashed and he has no time to prepare for it. However, because of last episode, the amount of powerful people in his arsenal this time, he manages to make some quick, very understandable decisions by immediately calling Reinhardt. And the Archbishop of Wrath, Sirius Romani Conti, has the ability that basically controls minds and binds bodies. So if you kill Sirius, everyone else under the brainwashing also dies. So you can't really kill Sirius. And they basically learn the hard way that they can't really rely on Reinhardt. And after a couple of tries, Subaru is like, okay, fuck it, we'll go with Beatrice. And the reason they can't rely on Reinhardt is because, well, he may seem way too overpowered for his own good. <laughs> like, if Beatrice tries to use magic next to him, she literally cannot. He unintentionally controls all magic around him. That she literally is basically just any other little girl when she's close to him. Subaru and Beatrice eventually make the plan of use Shamak, the darkness ability of Subaru, the dark smoke stuff, because it removes the binding from the Archbishop to their followers, apparently. Because, well, that doesn't work. And of course, Emilia forces her way into the party and yep, eventually gets caught. And behold, Regulus Corneas, that motherfucker from last season. <laughs> Remember him? Yes, he's back and he's... He's a wild motherfucker, let me tell you that. He wants to make Emilia his 79th wife. That's not super good. Calm, calm the fuck down. 79? I know he's the Archbishop of Greed, but 79 is <laughs> wild. <laughs> the Corneas situation is crazy, guys. I wonder if we'll see all his wives or if they're all dead. Because he seems so greedy that... Maybe he wouldn't even let them have the mercy of death. <laughs> and yeah, I love the pacing of this episode. It's... Okay, okay, I'm gonna be real. Maybe the last revival, like the scenario we have that is running still, I think it got a bit too much time to prep. Like the whole conversation with Beatrice and all of that. Compared to the other previous attempts. But yeah, it's still all just so rapid. It happens over and over again. Like, Subaru cannot take a break in this one. Usually he has like a lot of time to prepare to make alliances to basically be the Batman of ReZero. Give him enough time and he'll do it. This time he does not have the time. <laughs> yes, he either does it or he don't. And that's, that's the difficulty of this arc. Or at least this current situation. Because sure, Regulus Corneas did, did take Emilia, but the Archbishop of Frath is still there with their own whole side story that they're still wanting to complete. So yeah, also the Archbishop of Greed, like Sirius, she says a lot of stuff to Emilia. And I don't know what's the matter, but it seems like Sirius used to look like Emilia or something like that. I mean, she has the same eyes, if I'm remembering correctly. So I'm not sure if her whole skin got basically ripped off and given to Amelia or something like that. Or given to, if you remember, like, Satella, not Amelia. Sirius is probably thinking of Satella. And yeah, this was, that's, this was a great episode. Uh, and I'm, I cannot wait for next week. So yeah, that's, that's about it. Get the fuck out.